Well, spring has sprung. It's hot, it's sunny, and that means it's wet snow season. With wet snow, your aspect, elevation, and timing are really what you want to be focusing on. You want to be off of slopes before that meltwater gets developed too much and we can start seeing loose wet and wet slab avalanches. Now, you don't want to just focus on the slopes that you're headed up to ski or ride. Also pay attention to any slope you might be crossing on your way back to the trailhead, especially those low elevation slopes that might be really breaking down and usually you wouldn't give a second thought to. Now, as you're traveling, you can pay attention to the surface conditions, and that'll tell you a lot about how this is progressing. If there's a firm, solid crust that you're staying on top of, that's a good thing. That means that you don't have to worry too much about wet snow yet. As soon as you start plunging in deeper than your ankles, pushing through with your ski poles, the track of your sled is digging through, that means that that crust is breaking down and wet snow is becoming a real concern. So, most of these slides won't be that big. They still are a concern, pushing you into rocks, trees, into a gully. The time we're most concerned about them is right after new snow is getting wet for the first time, or when there's been multiple days without a solid refreeze and you're getting that water developing in the snowpack. Follow along at mtavalanche.com and we'll keep you up to date on how the wet snow is developing.